to my YouTube channel. It's been definitely a minute since I have posted on here. Really no other reason for that other than that things have just been busy. I've stacked my months pretty full every single month with client work and all that stuff. And one thing I've had to learn is just like reprioritization. Oh, you okay? I was just saying like removing things off the list that don't necessarily be need to be. Tell her you okay. This is a little Dolly Boo. She has a kennel cough currently. Um, so if you heard her hacking up a lung, that was why. Anyways, just trying to remove things off the list that don't like that don't absolutely have to get done you make your plans and it doesn't always work out the way that you think it would most days i would say i work until like six o'clock um but it's like you can continue to fill up your to-do list for as long as you want to like there will always be more to add to the list um that doesn't necessarily mean that you should but since I last talked to you guys, I have hired an assistant. Um, I've hired a creative assistant. Her name is Abby. She is like so awesome, completely been life-changing for my business. I wish I would have done this sooner. Dolly is like crying and begging because I have like this little piece of banana cream pie. It's like a banana cream pie crumble cookie. Hiring an assistant has been like an absolute game changer. Um, there's a lot of things that she's been helping me with, both with like my own marketing and with my client work. Um, so I'm really, really thankful for that. It's just so funny because if you watched one of my earlier videos, like I think from when I first went full time with my business, I was like, I'll never hire anybody because like nobody's ever going to care about your business the way that you do. And like, nobody's ever going to do things the way that you do them. And like, that was kind of a dumb mindset to have because it's okay to ask for help. And she has done a pretty dang good job of caring for my business the way that I care for it. So I have eaten those words and I have hired an assistant and I'm so thankful that I did that. I'm just gonna take you through today just like a little day in the life, just like I used to. Today I have some social media graphics I need to create for a monthly retainer client. I have to save some final files for a brand design project that I just finished. And then I am making like the finishing touches on the mobile site design for a custom Squarespace website that I just completed or I'm just about to complete for a wedding venue. Um, and then I have brand design edits to one of my other brand design clients from this month. And then I have a quick little coupon design for my client Wildcard Vintage. They are a boutique here and she's gonna go to a market and I need to make a little like coupon design for her. So it's nice that now that I have an assistant, I feel like she's been here for like over two weeks now and I feel like things are really starting to like calm down, calm down a little bit and I'm starting to really feel um, the benefit of having things like lifted off of my plate, which I'm extremely grateful for. And I was gonna wear that headband, but I'm like, I'm just not, a headband girly like i don't actually like the headband so i'm taking it off i have my iced coffee i'm a beginner i'm a beginner coffee drinker part of my routine that's been like a non-negotiable that i've gotten way way better about that I actually shared this as a goal in like some of my previous videos, but one of my goals was just to like spend every single day at some point during the day spending some time in the word and like working on my relationship with God and praying and stuff like that. And through these devotionals, I've shared about these on my Instagram. So if you follow along with me there, you've definitely seen them. Um, it's these studies by this company called Well Watered Women and it has like transformed my relationship with the lord um it just helps me to have like a guided study and i've been okay i'm so sorry dolly just keeps coughing she's on an antibiotic right now she has kennel cough um it's so sad though because it's like watching a child cough because it sounds just like a person sometimes i swear okay I think she's all right. But anyway, so Well Watered Women has helped me to make my time in scripture like a daily non-negotiable, which is something that I've really, really struggled with as a Christian. Like, I don't know why, but it's just been something that I'm like, oh, I, I don't prioritize it the way that I should, which then comes with like a lot of guilt and like 
you just have to realize that like just because you might feel that way doesn't mean that like God isn't going to welcome you back with open arms when you do decide to spend time with him. Um, so I felt like very just encouraged by the way that I've seen that verse in the book of James that says draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. The way that I've seen that really evident in my life since I started really being intentional about getting into the word every single morning. Um, and now it's just like a non-negotiable part of my routine. Before I was like, well, if I, if I get up early enough, I have time. Um, and if you look at it that way, then you're always gonna come up with a reason to not do it. But now it's like, okay, I get up, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I do my makeup, I brush my hair, I make my bed, then I go get my iced coffee, then I sit down to do my devotional. And then after that, I might like eat a granola bar or something or eat some breakfast and then I come up here and then I get to work. And it's just like part of the daily routine. Also in other news, since you guys uh, last saw me here on YouTube, I got a desktop, which to me, sorry, the lighting in here is, the lighting in here is not great, but I got a desktop and I'm so excited about this thing because for me, this is like actually a huge, huge deal. A really big, big purchase. Um, and I will come around and show you guys the other side of this thing because this computer is green and it's so, so pretty, I love it so much. There's a little dolly boo. Look at her. Like, that is so, so beautiful. So yeah, so now I have this desktop and I'm obsessed with it. The reason why I got it is because all the design work that I'm doing, I really felt like I needed a bigger screen and I needed something with more storage and just a greater memory capability for all the Adobe Creative Suite platforms that I'm utilizing and running all the time. Um, and definitely more storage for YouTube videos. That's like another part of the reason why I haven't been making a ton of YouTube videos because I literally have not had the space on my computer to accommodate all the video footage. second thing on my to-do list for today which was to save out final files for a brand design client i've actually only checked off two things that are on my list for today but they are just larger projects so i still feel like i've gotten a ton done so far it is 12 35 right now and again so far today i've just finished social graphics for a client that are going to be published for uh, next month in october and then I have finished saving out final files for one of my branding clients. After lunch, I have a meeting with my assistant and we're gonna be talking about um, content calendars for clients and I'm just gonna be walking her through how I schedule those because she is going to help me with that. Like anything that 
is like an admin task like that or just like an easy plug and play task like that I've kind of been offloading that to her because it gives me more time to just like be creative and do the things that like only I can do once we finish up that meeting then I just am gonna be finishing up that website project for the day and a little quick design project for a retainer client Dolly, baby girl, what are you doing? Have you just been sleeping in here? Oh my goodness. She loves to come in here and like mess up all the pillows after I've made the bed. And she also really likes it. Look at her little tail. You're such a good girl. She also really likes it when I leave it dark in here so that she can sleep, which I do that often when it's like kind of gloomy outside because. When it's cloudy outside, she doesn't really seem to have much energy or much of a desire to like run around and do stuff. We need like a little day in the life of Dolly vlog. Look at her. You just look so cute. Back in my office again, I had this gigantic pot of potato soup that I've just been eating for lunch this entire week and it's so good and it's starting to get like it's still like kind of warm outside during the days, but it's definitely we're starting to get like that fall weather. And it's just like the coziest soup. And there's salsa verde in it. It's a half-baked harvest recipe. I never would have thought to put salsa verde in potato soup, but it is the best potato soup I have ever, ever had. Time for my meeting with my assistant. I love this computer so much. I love it. I did post on Instagram and tell you guys that I was filming a YouTube video today and I said if you had any questions please let me know because I would answer a couple of them while I was filming. So I did get a few questions. I only have time for a couple but I wanted to just go ahead and answer these really quickly. Um, tips for networking and pitching yourself to people. I would say one of my biggest tips for networking is not being afraid to make the first move. It is totally okay to reach out to people that you um, are wanting to get to know better and ask them to have coffee with you. Um, in any point in my career, networking has been a huge, huge part of my success, whether that was um, you know, in the corporate setting or maybe that was in my small business journey, networking has been a huge part of that from start to finish. Um, in terms of networking with other small businesses, I've just found that being friendly and being social on social media is a good way to do that. Um, and I really have seen partnerships among other small businesses be like a huge, huge way to be successful. Um, it's just always a good idea to be connected with like as many people um, as you possibly can be because there's always somebody out there that can help you get to you know the next stage of your career or somebody that can help you make something happen that you're trying to do um, networking is just really really important if there's somebody that you're wanting to network with in your local community or maybe somebody online that you're wanting to speak with the worst thing people can say to you is no, so I just would recommend like talking to people and asking. And the biggest thing I would say is not being afraid to put yourself out there because I've found that a lot of people don't pitch themselves or put themselves out there simply because they're too afraid. In terms of pitching, anytime you're gonna cold pitch somebody, it needs to be creative and there needs to be some sort of like attention grabber in there and something that makes it clear that you care. Um, I think a lot of people think that pitching can be done with just like a copy and paste email and to be honest, I have not found a ton of success with doing that when it's just been like a quick copy and paste. When I'm really intentional about my pitches and really spe specific and I've shown that I really have looked into their company and their brand, that's when I see more success. Okay, this other question, how long do you refuel and reset after long projects? That's such a great question and I have such a terrible answer. Um, because I don't know that I ever really do reset or refuel 
after long projects. I think I should, um, but I just don't know that I ever have. Um, I have been like go, go, go for the past five years. Um, and I just took my business full time in November of last year. And honestly, in the entire last year, I just feel like I've been like, go, 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 go. Um, always running at like 100 miles an hour throughout the entire last year. Um, but your question brings up a really good point that I probably should be resetting and refueling. And this kind of ties into the other question that goes with this, which is, what do you feel God is saying to you in this current season of life? We'll say that for the past several months, I have been like completely booked out, um, not only with my retainer clients, but also with my brand design and custom website design clients. Usually I am booked out a couple months for brand and web design. For October though, that is not the case. And it feels uncomfortable to me because I'm like, what the heck? Usually I'm booked out for like a couple months at a time. And so it feels uncomfortable to me that I don't have a ton of brand and web design projects lined up for October. So it just feels weird. Um, so usually I go from one brand design and web design project to the next. And then in between all of that, I'm doing a bunch of client work throughout the month for my retainer clients. So I don't know that there really is a lot of rest. And to be honest, August was a month where I got in a horrible habit of working in the evenings a lot um, and just working up until I went to bed. And I'm like, wait a minute, like th these are the types of hours that, this is the type of hours that I was working when I was in corporate and doing my small business all at the same time. So I'm like, I don't want to keep staying in that pattern because that wasn't sustainable then and it wouldn't be sustainable for me now. Trust that for whatever reason, I don't have a bunch of brand and web design projects booked up for next month. Okay, this is so random, but this is Sophie from the future. Um, back when I was filming this, didn't have like any uh, brand and web design clients lined up for the next month, as you have heard me state. Well, shortly after filming this, all of that changed and got two of the biggest brand and web design projects uh, come my way that I've ever had. And I'm in the middle of those right now. And God was just so faithful to provide that for me. It's been crazy. It's just, it's just wild. I have this little sticky note on my desk or in front of my desk here. I don't know if you can even see that. It says, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. And... It's just like, you don't have to worry and stress about things that you feel like you need nearly as much as you do, because like the Lord knows what you need. And I would have been fine without these projects. So it, it's just, it, it it's a crazy, crazy blessing. Whether I had projects or not, it's like the Lord is good. He provides, but the fact that those projects came my way for October was just kind of crazy. So I'm basically like booked up for the rest of the year pretty much, uh, which feels really good because I want to enjoy the holidays. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and share that update that the Lord is just so good and really provided in such a crazy, crazy way. And I just will never get over that. And I just trust that there's a reason for that. And maybe it's that God wants me to work on something else. Just trust that the Lord is doing something with that. So I hope that answers your question. And thank you so much for participating in this q and I'm sorry, these are the only ones that I'm getting to, um, but maybe I can do some more in future videos. I'm just going to finish up my work for the day. Um, only have a couple things left on the to-do list. So going to get those things done and then call it a day. I'm hoping by five o'clock. It's 4.30 right now. So I'm like, can I get all these things done in 30 minutes? Maybe, it's only a couple things. So I'm really gonna try and get that done by five so that I can just like go ahead and start unplugging and I can't wait to take my makeup off. <laughs> um, I'm just like very excited to be done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for just following along. Um, if this was your first video you've ever watched, I hope you stick around. Uh, and if you are a returning friend, thank you for being here, um, especially after my little YouTube break, but I'm excited to be back and hopefully be posting more more often. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.